And so, my friends, it is with humility, determination, and boundless confidence in America's promise that I accept your nomination for President of the United States. Hi, I'm David Hawkins. I'm the senior editor at Roll Call. And behind me, the, the balloon drop, the famous balloon drop that ends all political conventions has happened. Balloons are being popped on the floor. People are scavenging for souvenirs, but the Democratic Convention is over. Two weeks of conventions are over, and it's time for the general election campaign to begin. The old saying about Hillary Clinton is that she is the most famous but least understood politician in America. This was the night uh, that she got to make her big appeal to the country to make herself more understood. I get it that some people just don't know what to make of me. Uh, she made an appeal directly to the Liberal Democrats, the so-called Bernie bros or Bernie bots. I want you to know, I've heard you. Your cause is our cause. If she's to win in November, she has to get an exceedingly high percentage of Bernie Sanders supporters to come over to her side and go out to vote this fall. Our country needs your ideas, energy, and passion. Job number two, uh, was explaining herself to the country. The truth is, through all these years of public service, the service part has always come easier to me than the public part. Amazingly, uh, even though she's been a national figure since the early 1990s, there are still millions of Americans, or at least hundreds of thousands of Americans, who don't feel like they understand where she comes from or who she is. The family I'm from well, no one had their name on big buildings. My family were builders of a different kind. And then job number three was to reach out to the independent voters, particularly to white men, which is where Donald Trump has done his best by far. Well, I will be a president for Democrats, Republicans, independents, for the struggling, the striving, the successful, for all those who vote for me and for those who don't, for all Americans together. One way that Hillary Clinton suggested you could reduce the entire campaign to a very simple construct, which is that Donald Trump says, I would do it alone. I alone can fix this country. She says, that's a silly thing to say. Don't believe anyone who says, I alone can fix it. That America succeeds best when the country works together and that our governmental construct requires all branches of the federal government working together, Republicans, Democrats. So let's be stronger together, my fellow Americans. This election is going to come down to a handful of states, like they all do in recent vintage. There's going to be a string of states stretching west from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, maybe, Michigan, Minnesota, and then, of course, Florida. That's the key to the election. And from here on out, you're going to see not so much uh, indoor rallies with balloon drops at the end, but a lot of outdoor rallies in the industrial heartland. After two weeks of conventions, the general election begins with both of these candidates having made the case to the American people that they wanted to make. In the end, both Donald Trump in Cleveland and Hillary Clinton in Philadelphia got to present themselves the way they wanted. They got control of their conventions. They presented themselves to the public the way they wanted to. They created an incredibly clear contrast for the general election ahead. They've given partisans on both sides plenty to love and plenty to hate and they've given the relatively narrow group of undecideds in the middle plenty to think about.